This is it, right here. They call him Halaib. He's been living here for years. It's like his home. One end of the cave is here, the other is all the way in the castle. I'll be leaving you here. You can go on yourselves. Don't be shy. Go on in. No need to be scared. Thanks. Halaib? Halaib! Halaib! Come on, let's go this way. Watch your step. Come on. Halaib! 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 Welcome, young man. Have a seat. Don't stand there. Aren't you looking for Halaib? Halaib, you said? I'm Halaib. We're very sorry. We didn't mean to bother you, sir. Sit down, young man. Sit down. The ice cream vendor Bunyamin sent us from Haran. Uh, we came I here know why for you're here. So now you're the sons of Isan. Yeah, I'm Ibrahim. This is my brother Halil. Halil and Ibrahim. He had nightingales. Hear that? That's them singing. Your dad was a good person. At least when he was young. But life is a long journey. How did he walk the rest of the road? How did he finish it? He finished it well. Our father was a good man. Of course, he made some mistakes, too. I mean... Since he came, all the way back here, then it looks like he kept his promise. He ended up just the way he started. He was a good man. He died as a good man. What did our father promise you? Didn't he tell you about it? We just now found out about Orpha. Where did he say you wanted to be buried? We don't know. We just know that it's in Orpha, and we have a poem that's yours, I think. What poem? Huh. I can't see well. Read it to me, please. The mountain shook off the rocks, the waters ran deep. There were horses running in the valleys where the sun rises. Bury me. Two mountains meet, where the sun and the moon meet, before Ibrahim's fire catches on. We don't know where exactly this poem directs us. We thought 
you could tell us. It's not my poem. It's your dad's. This is your dad's will. So then you know where he wants to be buried. Could you please take us there? Or tell us where and we can go ourselves? It's not that easy. I can't tell you boys. Why not? I can't tell you now. Your stories aren't finished yet. Your dad wanted to take you on a journey. But you haven't reached that place. For goodness sake, Mr. Halo. I mean, Halaib. We have played enough games on this trip. Please don't make us play another game still. A game? Isn't life a game itself, young man? Aren't you playing that game every day? Don't you put on your suit? Don't you put on your tie? And then suddenly become a totally different person? Can I tell you something that's not a game? My life isn't. Neither was your dad's. It's the truth itself. Your reality is a game to us. Your game is reality for us. Do you think the journey you took was real? The places you have been, the people you have seen. Why did they seem so weird to you? Because they were all real. But you never faced that reality. Just like the people in a dark room, all trying to find an elephant. You held its tail, thought it was a snake. What I'm doing is showing you the entire elephant. You still say, that's not an elephant. When Ibrahim was thrown into fire, that fire belonged to Nimrod. But no one knew that his fire was a rose garden to Ibrahim, only to him. Ibrahim was a friend. Halil means friend. Being Halil meant risking being thrown into flames and fighting the demons. That was the reality. Not surrendering to some demons. I'm not playing a game, young man. Your dad wasn't either. You. Fulfill yourselves. Find your own reality. And then come back to me. What did he mean? What does it mean to fulfill yourself? Find reality? I have no idea. This is all taking too long. It's like a child is playing with us. Ibrahim, listen, you know what? Don't worry about this, okay? You should go find Eje now. Go talk to her. Talk to her about whatever you want, whatever bothers you. Don't leave anything unsaid. If you love her, tell her. Apologize if you want to. Just do something. I can handle everything else. I'll find out where Dad wants to be buried, okay? Are you deprived of oxygen? Were you not able to breathe in there? What is it that you're even talking about? Please, would you just listen to me for once? Find her before she leaves. Talk to her. You have no idea when you're going to see her again. I can tell that you are still in love with her. Edja hasn't moved on either. I saw how she looks at you. Ibrahim. 
Look, you ruined your life for Dad once before. Don't let the same thing happen again. I'll look everywhere in Orpha and find someone who knows Dad. No way, I can't let you do this alone. Please, let me, man. Let me be a big brother to you for once. For once, please, I'm begging you. I promise, I'll call you when I find the place. Go on.